Here in this code sample we have uh, two simple select elements, checkbox list, radio button list, and a list box. The outcome is this. Here, in the code behind, we create an hash table with data, key value pairs, and then we refer that hash table as a data source for each one of the select elements as well as the checkbox list, radio button list, and the list box. Therefore, the same data is displayed in each one of the controls. When calling the data bind method, we inherit from page. Indirectly, data bind is invoked on each one of the controls on our page. If we check the HTML code, here within the HTML code we can find uh, for each one of the options um, the value that uh, is being used as the um, the one that is sent back to the server when the user um, submit the form and here we can see the value that is displayed on screen Data value field allows us to specify which value we want to be um, uh, assigned underneath in the HTML code to, um, to be the value that is actually being sent back to the server when the user submits the form. This is the purpose of the data value field. Data text field purpose is to specify which value we want to be displayed on screen.